Hi guys, it's Charlene and welcome to my kitchen. Okay, so today we are on week... I have honestly lost track. I think that I'm on week eight, but last week I did week eight. So it's either week eight or week nine. At this point, this is a lifestyle change. This isn't a diet. So I'm probably not gonna keep saying this is week so and so. So I'm gonna forget. So we're either on week eight or nine and nothing really has changed. We, um, I've still, well, I've lost a little bit more in inches. So it's like five and a half, five and three fourths quarter inches uh, total from uh, chest, waist and hips. And it's eight and a half pounds. That's kind of where we're at. I'm excited about today's recipe as you will see. Uh, I like to try and come up with new and exciting things and that's my tip guys uh, for today. It's really simple, just experiment with different foods because <laughs> you will get bored and if you get bored, you're gonna eat the wrong thing. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I loved it. In fact, I'm making it again today. Now it's like two weeks later. <laughs> I film, just so you know, sometimes it'll be like, I'll be saying, oh, it's cold outside and it'll be like 80 degrees in reality, but the day I'm filming, it was cold. I kind of, I have a little library of recipes for you. Sometimes I'll make three or four in a day because there's days that I don't feel like cooking. So I just wanna always have something for you every week so that you guys uh, can get some inspiration and just know that whatever recipe I'm doing, you can modify it to whatever you like. That is my tip this week is if I'm putting chicken in it and you love shrimp or you love beef, go for it. You know, if you like things spicy, put jalapeno in it. If you don't like onions, don't put onions in it. Just whatever you're adding or subtracting, um, protein is very easy because it's no carbs. So, you know, you can just uh, switch that out easily. Uh, if you're adding or subtracting vegetables, just make sure that you know if there are carbs in them or not. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let me show you the chicken fried rice recipe for today. Bye guys. Drum roll, please. Chicken fried rice, yes, fried rice. Now you know obviously we're not gonna use rice. We have to use a substitute and I will get to that. But um, let's go ahead and I will show you all the ingredients that we need and the preparation to make this. And you could make this um, not chicken, not just chicken fried rice, you can make it vegetable fried rice. Um, if you are vegetarian, I think doing low carb and being a vegetarian would be pretty tough. Um, but you could also do beef fried rice as well and I will probably do that at some point also but um i love chicken and what i do to make things easier for me is today i just went to the grocery store guys and i love the uh thinly sliced chicken breasts and they were on sale so what i'm going to do is grill all of them so i like to make big batches of things like that because with the chicken i'm going to use it for the chicken fried rice today but if tomorrow i want a chicken salad um wrapped in you know either a lettuce wrap or a low carb tortilla i can make chicken salad i can chop it up and add it to um a garden salad so it's just easier just to grill it all at one time let's go ahead and get started with our chicken fried all right here are the ingredients that we need for our chicken fried rice and again you can use um not just chicken but you could do this with beef or seafood any other um, protein. So I use, I get the thinly sliced chicken breasts and that's the uh, protein that I'm gonna use as far as vegetables. I try and sneak spinach in wherever I can. So baby spinach, this is what we're going to use in place of rice. It's the cauliflower pearls. They sell uh, this chopped up cauliflower pretty much everywhere now. I know that Target sells it. Kroger sells it, H-E-B sells it. Um, red onion, you certainly can use a white onion if you don't have red. A lemon, and I love green onion. I put green onion in everything. And then we need some olive oil and some garlic paste or fresh garlic. I'm going to season my chicken with a lemon pepper, but you can use any seasonings that you like. You can spice it up if you want. Uh, soy sauce and 
salt and pepper. So let's begin. We're going to go ahead and start with grilling the chicken. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take those thinly sliced chicken breasts and I'm just gonna season them with the lemon pepper, a little bit of salt, and fresh ground pepper. And I've taken the pan and added a little bit of olive oil and just spread it around. And I want this very, 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 very hot. While that's heating, while the pan's heating, I'm going to fill a, a medium-sized saucepan with water. And I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the cauliflower pearls in there. And I'm just to cook these until they're al dente. So not quite completely cooked because we're gonna finish cooking them when we do the stir fry. So this pan is smoking hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken breasts. I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side with the lemon pepper. And again, salt. And pepper. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a lemon in half, and then in half again. And I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the lemon juice on the chicken, and then I put the lemon right on the grill pan. Same thing. And we're just gonna flip our chicken over. And we're going to take the lemons that have been uh, cooking on there and you see how much juice comes out? And we're just going to give another little squeeze. All right, the chicken is done. I've let the other breasts, they were a little thinner, rest. And I've diced them up into small pieces. All right, and here you can see that I have the cauliflower boiling and I'm just kind of testing it. We just want it to be halfway cooked. Otherwise we'll have mushy rice. Now in a large skillet I put a tablespoon of olive oil and a tablespoon of butter. Butter is optional. You can use just um, olive oil but I love butter and I think it adds a nice richness. Then we're going to add a little bit of red onion. Again any kind of onion that you have on hand would be perfectly fine. And I'm just gonna saute this until it's translucent. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic paste. Again, if you have fresh garlic, that's fine. That garlic paste, I like it because it really won't burn like garlic pieces and it sort of just melts into the butter and olive oil. That's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and take the cauliflower and I'm going to strain it. Now you're going to need a very, very fine strainer like this because these are very uh, small and I'm going to show you, I'm just going to take it from the pot here and I don't mind a little bit of the water getting in because it helps cook it even further. I take the last bit of it and just dump it into the strainer and then pour it in. And you want this on high now. Now that the onions are mixed with the cauliflower, you want the cauliflower to get a little bit crispy. Just a little bit. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add salt. And 
and lots of fresh ground pepper. We're going to add the green onions in. I chopped up about four green onions. You can add more or less. And the nice thing about this recipe is you can add whatever you like. If you want red or green peppers in here, go ahead. If you want to make it a little bit spicy, add a jalapeno. But isn't it starting to look like fried rice? And you can add more or less chicken depending on what your preference is. And then I'm going to add some soy sauce. What, what is fried rice without soy sauce, right? <laughs> All right, now we're cooking it until the cauliflower is to the consistency that you like. Maybe you like it a little bit softer. Uh, maybe you like it a little bit more on the al dente side. So we're going to give it a little taste. So good. You can taste the soy sauce in there. The chicken looks really, really good. Now, to bring a little bit of brightness, I'm going to add a little bit of whoop, lemon. Freshly squeezed lemon. I just think it adds a brightness to this dish. This truly isn't rice, um, it's cauliflower. So um, it just adds a special something, I think. All right, and at the last minute, guys, we're gonna add that baby spinach in. You could add uh, arugula, you could add frozen spinach, just make sure that uh, you drain it really well. I just love baby spinach. I put it in my eggs. I put it in my salads. I put it in my sandwiches, low carb sandwiches. And I turn the heat off and the residual heat, just go ahead and wilt that baby spinach. And I know baby spinach is not a traditional ingredient in uh, chicken, fried rice, but cauliflower isn't either. And I love to get, uh, I love to put spinach in as many things as I can. It's so good for you. Well guys, what do you think? Uh, does it look wonderful? I think it looks so good. And guess what? It is good. It was really, really good. I was so pleasantly surprised that I've made it twice. This will be the third time. I'm actually going to make it again today. This time I think I'm going to try maybe beef. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I have. Uh, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. And as always, if you're subscribed to my channel, I just want to say thank you so very much. And if you are not yet subscribed and these recipes are of interest to you and these videos are of interest to you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Have a great day, guys. Bye.